The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And one of those t at table with Jesus said to him, Blessed is the one who will dine in the kingdom of God. He replied, A man gave a great dinner to which he invited many. When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servants to say to those invited, Come, everything is ready now. But the one, but one by one, they all began to excuse themselves. The first said to him, I have purchased a field and must go to examine it. I ask you, consider me excused. And another, I have purchased five yoke of oxen and I am on my way to evaluate them. I ask you to consider me excused. And another said, I have just married a woman, and therefore I cannot come. The servant went and reported to his master. The master of the house, in, ra in a rage, commanded his servants, go out quickly to the streets and the alleys of the town and bring in here the poor, and the cripple, the blind, and the lame. The servant reported, Sir, your orders have been carried out, but still there is room. The master then ordered the server to go out to the highways and hedgerows and make people come in that my home may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited will taste my dinner. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning after going to the gym, I wanted to get a jump on the line at the voting stations. And so I arrived there at 6, uh, at 5.45, and there was already about 40 or 50 people lined up waiting to get in. And so the whole process probably took me, the line moved pretty fast. Uh, I was out of there in about a half an hour, including my wait time before the polls opened at 6. And as I was getting into my car, there was a man walking down the street, and the line was, if, if you go to... Um, Gosler School, the line was coming out of the school parking lot and around the corner into the, into the street. And this guy looked at the line and you could see the look on his face like, I'm not waiting in that line. And, and he started yelling at me. And he said, the line's too long, I'm not going in there. So I looked at him and I said, well, go and, go and vote for the one you like the least. <laughs> And he laughed at me, and he said, I don't like any of them. Okay. I said, go and get, vote for the one you like the least, and then you can get, and then you'll have your, ta your turn, right? And he hemmed and hawed, and he finally decided to go into the line. But he was almost not going to make a choice. We have an opportunity but yet I move into a different choice here. A, ma a, ma a, a man gave a great banquet to which he invited many. Every person has an opportunity to make a choice about their eternal salvation. That's the banquet. And although many excuses will be given, None of them are acceptable because everyone will have ample opportunity to make a choice for eternal salvation. And you can see this in the scripture that this 
this host of this great banquet, sumptuous banquet, he has sent out three waves of invitations. Not only is he persistent, but he seems to have a great love for the people of this town. He's even willing to extend his invitation list to those in the alleys. You know who that's referring to. The street people. The ones who nobody considers good. They are being invited. This persistence shows his great generosity and his zeal. The great banquet is fully revealed in Jesus especially in the Feast of the Holy Eucharist. No sinner is without an invitation, and no sinner will be deprived of an invitation. This is God's providence. Everyone is going to hear this. Everyone's going to get an opportunity in one way or another. No price is too great for this host of this great banquet to spend on what is necessary for the guests that will come. Even in some cases, the most marginalized. Nothing is spared or held back for the sake of a lavish feast for the invited. It so speaks of Jesus and him being the lavish feast and him also at the same time being the one who is giving the generous invitation. He emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, becoming obedient even unto death, death on a cross. He reflects the master of this banquet, our Heavenly Father, making himself present to call as many as possible to this great banquet and sumptuous feast. Jesus even offers himself as the very food of the banquet in the Holy Eucharist, sacrificing himself on the cross and offering his life for all who would come. Oh yes, it is time for us to repent because all excuses to the invitation will not make any difference. An excuse is an excuse. It's time to repent of any excuse that we have and turn more radically toward Jesus Christ. Oh, no, be still,